Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on your self-portrait min figs. So if you've printed out the template, then you are ready to go. And we're going to start by creating ourselves. Remember, this should be a self-portrait. So when you're designing it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it looks like you. It'll have your eye color, your eye shape. It'll have your nose and your nose shape. Because this part of the min fig is always kind of painted on when you're looking at them, right? So you can get a little bit more detailed in this part. Now, if I was going to do my hair, I, I don't have my hair up like this normally, do I? So I'm going to draw my hair right on top and it might go over some of those lines a little bit that are on there and that's okay. And a lot of times I wear my hair back in a ponytail and I kind of curl it around the edges like this, or I twist it. So I'm gonna draw that just like that of mine. And then up here, maybe today I'm wearing a little bit of a hat since I'm going to draw myself as an artist. So I can draw a little beret right on top of things on there and my hair coming out a little bit more. If I'm gonna draw myself as an artist, I have to put on my apron I don't want to be getting paint all over myself. You guys might have seen me sometimes in class where that can happen, can't it? And I'm going to make the lines thicker on those places where that's going to be. Uh, and then maybe sometimes I have some pockets in my aprons, right? I might have a little bit of paint splattered here and there. I'm going to draw those little details in. And then in my pockets, I might have some paint brushes. They're not all gonna be pointing the same direction. They might be pointing different directions. I might have like a marker back there. I'm gonna draw that cylinder or a 3D shape for my marker. Uh, and then in my hands, I might also have a pencil. Since I like to start all of my projects in pencil, why do we always start our projects in pencil? That's right, so we can go back and erase and change things if we want to. And then that would mean in this hand, I might have a sheet of paper over here in this hand, kind of like that. And maybe this particular day, I was working on drawing and painting an apple on there. Uh, let's see, if I'm wearing a shirt, it might have a fancy collar on it. So I can put that on here. And then I'm probably wearing short sleeves because it always gets a little warm in our artist studio, just like that. Uh, and then down here for my shoes, I like to wear tennis shoes when I'm in my studio. So I'm gonna do the little crisscross of the laces and then the bow tie that maybe goes on top of there. Okay, so now I have all of my main parts drawn in to make it look a little bit like me as an artist. The next step is going to be coloring it in. Remember, as you're coloring in, you want to use smooth coloring techniques. So whatever tools you're using, I'm using twistable crayons here, you need to make sure that you are coloring in nice and smooth, not leaving a bunch of white gaps. If you want to make it look more 3D or realistic, you can use slightly darker colors or push a little harder with your single color while you're coloring. This helps to make it look like there's some shadows along the edges and underneath things so that when your portrait's finished, it looks like you.